Welcome to part 1 of Investable Impact Innovations Understanding Impact. With the need to know and fun to do innovation techniques. It's designed with IDEO's five steps, emphasize, define, ideate, prototype and test. We emphasize with global needs and challenges, working with the United Nations global goals. We start with defining truly investable impact, based on impact types and net impact, effectivity. Next is ideation, for optimized impact, and impact cost sufficiency. Then we dive into the UN Global Goals interactions, synergies and catalysts, based on academia and real-world business cases. In prototyping, we are going to market, with our impact business model. Finally testing, knowing and using impact data, metrics, for your impact pitch deck, to dazzle partners and funders. Impact. It's complicated. So I chopped it up in small steps going higher and further. And innovation is a skill. So we're training you in tailored innovation techniques and give you innovation tools focused on investability. Investing is not just about money, it's about data, impact metrics. And impact investing is cool. Or hot. Anyway, it's happening. Hi, I'm Alcani, so why did I make this course? I was frustrated with the proof of concept and premium priced impact products that get a lot of attention, but have little real, direct impact in people's lives. My background is in philanthropic campaigning and fundraising, creating awareness and asking for donations, and after 20 years I figured that social enterprises and impact investing will get us there, further and faster. As long as we innovate, reinvent our world, and integrate impact, right from the start. I started out at the Dutch Foundation for Smoking and Health, on its passive smoking campaigns. Fighting Big Tobacco, which are huge global corporations. In 95, I cycled from Singapore to Bangkok and back. Next a stint at a public relations and communication bureau, then the Heart, Kidney and Alzheimer Foundations. My best job was for churches in action, for poverty and disaster support, development cooperation, and missionary work. Since 2011, I am an impact investor, researcher and tool developer, lately also a cheap and easy green roof promoter, saving energy and money, boosting biodiversity, and having a comfortable home. In the course, I'm in charge of the dry need-to-know stuff, the academic insights, the metrics and regulatory demands, the business and investment cases. I tailored and created the impact innovation techniques and tools, all to boost the impact of your innovations. Manu, that's me. I am an impact innovation facilitator, systems thinker, and sustainable business developer. This course is inspired by one of my design thinking workshops focused on developing impact innovations. I inspired the innovation and creative thinking elements and advised Alcani on environmental sustainability and unthinking. I am a facilitator, innovation accelerator focused on regeneration. Since walking the Camino in Portugal, I now organize five-day retreats on this pilgrimage trail. The five course parts give you your essential building blocks. They are illustrated with business cases, tough questions and quizzes, wrap-ups and checklists. And of course also fun to do innovation techniques, chosen to deepen your understanding of the challenges, sometimes uniquely tailored for investable impact innovations. Impact innovations that can scale. Too much information, such as data and numbers, we put in appendices. Links to slide sources come after the reference pages. Every part ends with a wrap up how to get in touch with us, a link to your feedback form, and your incentive. The part summarized in a few sticky notes or an ebook. For investable impact innovations aims, of the three Ps, prosperity is the toughest task ahead, profit for all. Making sure you can scale your impact innovation and not taking more than you should. We are all stakeholders in this world. Not just producers or consumers, inside or outside workers, supply chain partners or even shareholders. We all have a stake and a role to play. Our first challenge is the fact that impact is not static, in the way it is understood or operates. 
We agree with academic Silos and Mayer that only innovation plus scaling equals impact. They wrote this in the excellent Stanford Social Innovation Review. Coming from philanthropic and civil society background, we have seen too many brilliant ideas and concepts gone to waste because they were not picked up or scaled. We aim to show you that in spite of the uncertainties of impact and innovating for impact, it is possible to assess, probably guesstimate, the many unknowns, as long as you ask the right questions, scrutinize your own assumptions, collect loads of relevant impact data, such as resources saved, people reached, jobs created, and always look around for impact icons to inspire you. And keep in mind that scaling goes a lot further if you keep that as your destination. In practice, it will always be challenging. Collecting data is incredibly effective as it challenges your assumptions, supports your impact innovation concept, boosting effectivity, steers you towards standardized data and data delivering champions, benchmarks your scaling ambitions, convinces partners and funders. Also new EU, US reporting regulation and international self-regulation will affect the global economy, companies, and their supply chains. Collecting data, getting new insights. It may affect you directly, and highly likely, your preferred partners and funders. Remember, money follows data. There is huge value in data, understanding risks, behaviors and opportunities. So also for impact data, actual or potential, negative and positive, short and long-term, intended or unintended, and reversible or irreversible. That is a quote from the Global Reporting Initiative. Impact innovations aim at improved products or features that are good for people, the planet, or both. Innovations are responses to many forces, ambitions, new insights, and technology. Think of safety belts in cars, designed for taxi passengers in 1885, but only became an option for drivers, front seats in 1946, and standard in Saabs in 1958. 150 years later, they are practically globally obligatory and people have to use them. Small innovations can have big impact, because, people prefer the new offer, it is better or cheaper, so demand grows it and it grows its market share. So the competitors follow, copy it and it becomes the new way. Such as replacing virgin plastic with recycled or bioplastics. And disruptive innovations, can change the world rapidly, think the telegraph, telephone, mobile phones, smartphones. And the speed is accelerating. For us, innovation is a means and goal to achieve impact. Means and goal, yes, because innovations are built on technology, aiming to improve products, processes, business models, including finance. Next came human-centered innovation, to improve the creator and user experience, solving barriers in systems and processes that hinder effective implementation and scaling of innovations. And the customer journey, such as plug and play. Impact innovation aims at integrating societal and environmental benefits. We think it will only scale with healthy business plans with revenues. Investability. That is why impact investing rose, because philanthropy and government will never have enough budget or solve all global problems, especially during crises, when it is needed most. So we developed this course for innovators with entrepreneurial spirit and skills to scale your impact innovations. An example and our big dream. A course, the input, was developed for online sustainability education. The output, the course was posted on mass online education platforms and marketed online. The outcome, students did the course, answered questions and quizzes, practiced the impact innovation techniques, asked questions and shared their experience. The impact, students applied their new knowledge and skills, creating impactful innovations and marketing it to partners and funders. Students reflected on the course and possible knowledge and skill gaps. The course developers, that's us, improved the course, learning from your feedback. We upgraded the online offer, with tailored group events such as workshops, sprints etc. Students developed thematic, sector and region-specific applications as franchise trainers. Question, can you think of an impact innovation? From nation-states, to everyone contributing. The Millennium Goals were goals for governments to end poverty, hunger, corruption and more. In other words, fix big issues. The global goals are for all of us, 
governments, business and people, still putting the worst off people first. And going beyond fixing the system. The suggested video explains the transition to the global goals. Building on the results of the Millennium Goals, lessons learned, new opportunities, and big challenges such as population growth and climate change. The global goals targets and indicators help assess the situation and measure progress. For instance, Goal 6, ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. Target, by 2030 achieve access to adequate and equitable sanitation and hygiene for all. And as indicator, the proportion of population using safely managed sanitation services. It is crucial to understand the different impact types. Let's take your lifestyle and life choices as an example. You sleep well, eat healthy, drink lots of water and work out regularly. Take power naps and relax. You do good. You know when to boost your mineral and vitamin intake and take a break. You do better. You limit stress enhancers such as negative people, worrying about things you can't fix, limit your screen time, know which seductions to avoid. You do less harm to yourself. You don't smoke, drink, do drugs, or fight, which undermine your mental and physical health. You do no harm to yourself and others. Your net impact should be a happy healthy person. Often people have difficulty grasping do better impact. In investing, it is the transformation of a business, portfolio or product. Can you put a number on your choices? Do you study, work, relax, enough? In hours? Remember inspiration comes from transpiration and clearing your head. Do you plan your goals and breaks? Is your environment supporting? Do you also celebrate failing forward? What else do you do? Why business needs you? Going for do-good impact seems the fast way to go, and we need speed. According to Risk Rater MSCI, in their ESG Trends to Watch 2020 report, only 10% of listed companies is beneficial in their core activities. Apart from their responsible management operations. This means we can have huge impact with fixing the other 90% of businesses. Innovating for impact. Making businesses more beneficial and less detrimental for instance when they extract, deplete natural resources, or exploit or underutilize human resources. By helping them develop solutions, products and services people need, and help business grow their positive impact. Please, take the suggested breaks. This course will give you a lot of facts, figures, examples, case, insights, and more. And then, question you on your experience, expertise, understanding, and how to merge it all. You will feel overwhelmed. So now, have a break. Examples of decoupling are lower energy use and a safer workplace. This can be done through any impact type. Do no harm impact, removing a negative impact. For instance fossil fuels emissions. Do less harm, use less. Be energy efficient. Do better, add a cleaner energy to the mix, such as natural gas. Do good, add renewable energy to the energy mix such as wind or solar energy. Preferably go all renewable. Or for social impact. Do no harm impact, remove a dangerous substance from the workplace such as asbestos. Do less harm impact, lower use of dangerous substance in the workplace. Do better impact. Partially, introduce a safer alternative, transform your product or your product range. Do good impact, completely replace dangerous substances with safe alternatives. An example, Global Goal 10 and its targets. The indicator for do good progress is income growth. It should be at a rate higher than the national average. Otherwise it is just an outcome, it probably would have happened anyway. Doing better is challenging. It should be irrespective of age, sex, disability, race, ethnicity, origin, religion or economic or other status. Target 10.4 is action. Adopt policies, especially fiscal, wage and social protection policies, and progressively achieve greater equality. 
Doing less or no harm is not just about reducing and eliminating it, it is also about fixing the system. So Target 10.3 is intentional, promote appropriate legislation, policies and action in this regard. Do no harm is pretty straightforward, do away with failing laws that cause or maintain inequality. Again Global Goal 10 Impact Actions Now with Indicators. Which impact type do you think is most effective? Think quality and quantity. Create sound policy frameworks, based on pro-poor and gender-sensitive development strategies, to support accelerated investment in poverty eradication actions. Do better. Ensure that all men and women, in particular the poor and the vulnerable, have equal rights to economic resources, as well as access to basic services. Do less harm. Reduce at least by half the percentage of men, women and children of all ages, living in poverty. Do no harm. Eradicate extreme poverty, for all people, everywhere. What impact type is? Ensure. Sustainable consumption and production patterns. Have. Per capita global food waste at the retail and consumer levels, and. Reduce. Food losses along production and supply chains, including post-harvest losses. Remove. Market distortions that encourage wasteful consumption. Promote. Universal understanding of sustainable lifestyles. The answers are in the verbs. Do good. Ensure do less harm. Have and reduce. Do no harm. Remove. Do better. Promote. Stop the video if you want to think about the questions before I give the answers. Question, there are four types of impact, net impact is the result of assessing and adding up impacts. Stop. True, net impact assesses the sum, quality and quantity, of positive and negative impacts. Question, all impact types are equally important stop. False, negative impact can have deadly consequences. So net impact is the most important. Question, the impacts of innovations can vary in depth and over time, monitoring effects is crucial, especially negative scaling effects. Stop. True, true if all circumstances remain the same, but it never does. Plus there is the butterfly effect of small events having big effects. Question, stopping harm is always the most effective impact innovation. Stop. False, that's highly likely, but it may create even worse negative impacts. Making something illegal, fuels crime. Why are these questions critical? Data rules people and companies, so do your research, it might change everything. The scaling question is critical too, it can refer to pace. Slow, organic, market growth, of your impact innovation is good, as is fast growth. Probably made possible by impact tech, partners or capital funding. Either scenario, change, requires different actions from you. Negative impact risk can probably not be avoided, it is the proverbial ship that never leaves the harbor. But it is always wise to think of the possibility, and if you can diminish it. How and when it might happen, the probability and if a proactive approach can fix it. Real life is complex. Reintroducing beavers to the Netherlands has caused our dikes to be under tunneled and are now at risk. And protected badgers are doing the same with our railroads. A case study, the Better Cotton Initiative successfully scaled innovative impact. Its field-level projects had been successful in increasing farmers' skills to produce sustainable cotton, but they were expensive and they did not scale. Costs of scaling were too high, a 100 times the budget, so it was outsourced. The result, changing farming practices of more than 1 million cotton farmers in 21 countries in just eight years thus shifting nearly 20% of the cotton industry towards sustainable production. And 20% is a magic number, the market share that boosts broader adoption and diffusion. Question, there are many impact innovations that created this success. Can you name them? Hints, collaboration, production and processes, cost-cutting, sustainability assurance and targets. A decision tree, trade-offs are your biggest challenge. Think of sustainable economic growth and decent employment in an era of digitization, or economic development and environmental sustainability in an era of climate change and biodiversity decline. Playing the market, the economic and financial system as you know it, might undermine your long-term impact ambitions. 
the impact types add up to net impact, which can be positive or negative. Check the data. All through the course we will work with the global goals, as agenda, and are, and the world's tailwind. An impact and innovation instrument, with clear targets and indicators. The critical questions are a characteristic of the course and return in all parts. But first, have a break. Do good impact is offered as basic needs, delivered by Impact Tech, making them accessible, globally available and affordable. Think food, healthcare, training, housing, clean energy and mobility. The term societal solutions was coined by Bainhawker and Hanauer, a professor at the Blavatnik School of Government and a Seattle-based entrepreneur and venture capitalist. They are hardcore capitalists, McKinsey alumni. They published their thought piece Capitalism Redefined in the Democracy Journal. And they define prosperity in a society as the accumulation of solutions to human problems. Stating that over time all companies will evolve into societal solutions companies, because finding a universal flu vaccine is more important than creating a crunchier potato chip. We can help companies become societal solution companies. Work on doing good, better, doing less or no harm, creating net impact. And take part in the impact transition. The focus of Global Goal 3 is prevention, saving lives, avoiding diseases and handicaps, and access to care, available in rural areas, and affordable in cities. An indicator is the proportion of the population with access to affordable medicines and vaccines. And research and development of vaccines and medicines. Prevention is smart, it saves lives, misery and money. Our corona lifestyle, washing hands, wearing masks, keeping distance and working from home, was preventive. And is also effective in preventing common flu types over the winter and spring, killing millions. Lockdowns were imposed to avoid huge demand for care, as there was no cure and limited capacity in hospitals and intensive care units. The best prevention are vaccines. Question, can you distinguish the impact types in the prevention policies over time? Hints, maximum numbers for gatherings, curfews. Indicators for Global Goal 7 are the part of the population with access to electricity and with primary reliance on clean fuels and technology. Earth Again made a video short explaining Global Goal 7's problems, challenges, and opportunities, giving tips what you can do to help stop or lower energy and the use of human-powered transport. Ensure Mafre's video voices the importance of access to clean energy. Showing two great innovators, providing 30 million people with access to solar light. Ending with five tips for viewers. Question, do you think that these personal tips can be turned into an impact innovation? One you can market and a healthy business model? Not dependent on grants and subsidies, but on revenues and investors? ABN AMRO is a Dutch bank. For its core business, property financing, it uses a Global Planet Impact Benchmark, the Green Real Estate Sustainability Benchmark. It also issues green bonds and green loans, measuring and reporting green impact for investors. The second case, the Malta Water Services Corporation, makes sweet water through desalination. The third case, Azuri Solar is a small company working in rural Africa, offering access to solar energy with affordable pay-as-you-go service. An example, Ecover cleaning products, a do-good innovation, but with negative impact when scaling. They had their own positive impact data, but it became part of a growing industry with negative impact. Ecover is a Belgian nature-friendly cleaning products company that started replacing chemicals with palm oil. It realized it had co-created the palm oil economy, a market destroying tropical rainforests at immense scale. After experimenting with alternatives, innovating for impact, it now works with algae. This small company took responsibility for its negative impact in a globally destructive trend. You can read more about Ecover Journey in the links from their own website and an article in The Guardian. Stop the video to think on the queue. Question, the global goal's ambitions cover all impact types. Stop. True, we saw it in Global Goal 10, Inequalities, and Goal 12, Responsible Consumption and Production. Question, societal solutions grow prosperity by minimizing negative and impact and creating net, positive impact. Stop. 
true when governments, businesses and investors assess net and negative impacts. Question, basic needs fulfillment plus impact tech can be achieved by innovating for all the impact types. Stop. True, with just 10% of beneficial corporations, we can innovate for all impact types to accelerate the impact transition. Question, the impact roadmap shows innovating is not important for all impact types. Stop. False, innovating for impact types is interlinked, like the global goals. We propose using mind mapping for impact to assess your impact innovation concept. Using iCreate, an online project on transfer of innovation focused on small and medium sized enterprises. iCreate's description of mind mapping. What is it? A way to structure and restructure your thoughts using keywords, association, clustering, and group and regroup information. How is it implemented? Place the innovation concept central, use colors, images, words, capitals, lines, shapes. Success factors, find a comfortable method, structured, working backwards etc. and prepare for complexity. Other benefits, engagement, system level thinking and transparency. I create also lists avoidable mistakes. References, mind mapping articles and websites on the I create project. You can also Google videos on the subject as it is a very visual exercise. Do good impact and impact innovations. Focus on societal solutions for basic needs or ways to assure better access to them. That is why scaling is essential to assure access, affordability and availability. And please, as fast as possible. But now, have a break. Let's move on to do better impact growing positive impact and transformation by changing fossil fuel sources from dirty to cleaner, such as from coal to oil to gas or bio-waste, looking at sourcing, production, distribution, emissions impact etc. Preferably, do better impact also focuses on the core business new, innovative, products or services. For instance, General Electric, GE, is one of world's most polluting companies, but also one of the most innovative companies. It launched eco-imagination and healthy imagination product lines with more impact and better margins. Goal 8 is growth and decent work, stressing the core activities and working circumstances. A short explanation of the jargon, inclusive and sustainable economic growth means that as many as possible people find work and have an income and it is sustainable because the positive impacts and income are larger than negative impacts and costs. Economic growth creates different types of jobs, from highly skilled to low skills. All jobs create income, and we hope job satisfaction and personal growth. During COVID, Corona lockdowns governments rapidly distinguished between essential and non-essential jobs and sectors for lockdown and working at home decrees. Question. Can you recall a few essential jobs and sectors? Will you focus on creating impact innovations for essential jobs and sectors? Or is your impact innovation idea a supra-sectoral, useful for all sectors? The World Food Program video explains necessary food security actions. They are Protect food supplies Grow and consume a variety of crops Invest in family farms And roads to get harvests and produce to markets and our fridge Some do better cases more Green Finance NN Investment Partners offers several solutions to investors who are looking to greenify their portfolio. NN now has 2.9 billion euro in its green portfolio. Another Dutch company, DSM transformed from coal and chemicals to nutrition and health. Philips sold its lamps and electronics divisions to focus on medical devices. Umicor, a Belgian company, came from uranium and mining and went into recycling. An example, we are told that fossil fuel companies are embracing renewable energy. NS Energy Business however reports, despite the growth in renewables, Big Oil only spent 1% of its combined budget on green energy schemes in 2018. Is that really doing better? Enough? Another example are sectors and multinational megacaps, which are self-regulating and collaborating to fix issues and systems. 
for instance to eradicate plastic use by promoting reusable packaging and use of bioplastics. In the links, you will find more on big brands and plastic and the World Economic Forum on Plastic. Look out for tunnel vision. Check out the gorilla videos by Christopher Chabry and Daniel Simons. Their book, The Invisible Gorilla, and watch the videos, they clearly show us that people who are focused on one thing can easily overlook something else. And how we are change blind, ignoring, blotting out information. Also people can see things, data, very differently. Just check out Optical Illusions with Google Search Image. Transforming Operations is a short to medium term project that requires impact innovations and impact finance. Transforming the core is a long term strategy that requires long term planning. But you have to start today. My reading suggestion Mission Possible Becoming a World Class Organization Whilst There Is Still Time by Terry Waghorn and Ken, the One Minute Manager, Blanchard. Written in 1996. Definition of doing less harm impact, lowering or replacing harmful processes, elements, ingredients, production, packaging, transport models, etc. It can reduce future costs and risks. For management, legal or marketing as prices can go up, regulation can step up. Customers, suppliers, and capital partners can push for change. All valid arguments, as long as safety and quality for workers and, or, consumers are not negatively impacted. Especially with small part, big problem issues, such as plastic and packaging, collaboration of supply chain partners, industries, and sectors can accelerate innovation. That is including competitors, customers, and investors. All pushing for change. Global Goal 15 is Life on Land. Target 15.5 Focus is Natural Habitats and Trethand SPECs. Questions, how does it aim for do good impact? Restore, and for do better impact? Protect, reverse. For do less harm impact? Promote, halt. And to achieve do no harm impact? Combat. Doing less harm is for instance Target 15C. Enhance global support for efforts to combat poaching and trafficking of protected species. An indicator for Target 15C is the proportion of traded wildlife that was poached or illicitly trafficked. The Do Less Harm innovation aims to reduce negative impact of poaching and trafficking. Do Less Harm Impact is found in Goal 10, Reduce Inequalities, specifically Target 10.3. Reduce Inequalities of Outcome. An indicator is the part of the population reporting having personally felt discriminated against or harassed within the previous 12 months on the basis of a ground of discrimination prohibited under international human rights law. Three cases. The bank now has more 15% of its workforce working full-time on tracing fraud, money laundering and other financial crime. Manila Water lost huge percent of revenues due to leaky pipelines and poor service. Serving less than a third of the population and only a quarter had 24-hour access. Low-income households got water from public faucets or street vendors at 16 times Manila Water's tariffs or tapped illegally into nearby pipes. A nearly non-existent sewerage system reaching just 3% of the population was a serious health risk. So it developed an inclusive business model with more water and sewerage coverage, 24-hour supply, good water quality and less non-revenue water levels. Paid for by a loan that shrank if it did not deliver. The third case, Azuri Solar also improves air quality by avoiding burning wood in the house and thus fire hazards and less deforestation collecting wood to burn. An example, vaping. Smokeless tobacco does not cause lung cancer from tar or passive smoking for non-smokers. But the exhaled aerosols still pose potential health risks. Vaping scaled to being used by millions, causing lethal and irreparable lung damage in users. Mostly in the USA, where health regulations on e-vaping cigarettes are less strict than in the EU and UK. The Truth Initiative states e-cigarette waste is potentially a more serious environmental threat than cigarette butts. As e-cigarettes introduce plastic, nicotine salts, heavy metals, lead, mercury and flammable lithium-ion batteries into waterways, soil, and to wildlife, 
old school filters, supposedly making them less harmful, pollute as well, and are one of the main pollutants of European beaches. But people also end up smoking more as the product information on packets of cigarettes show lower tar and nicotine values than actually is inhaled. Health hazards and planet polluters. Stop the video to think about the answers. Question, innovation and transforming a business to do better is just the flip side of doing less harm. Stop. False. Do better innovations, focus on core activities and positive impact. Do less harm innovation reduces negative impact. Question, do less harm innovations are a solution for global crises and challenges. Stop. True, for the short term, lowering carbon emissions, virgin plastic and less exclusion of people. For the long term, we need more. Question, do less harm impact innovations help lowering negative impact and are crucial progress on the impact roadmap. Stop. True, growing a market or business without growing negative impact, decoupling, is an important step in fixing it. Investors favor it because it reduces the risks of negative impact. Which leads to regulation, taxation and divestment which means higher capital costs. To assess impact we propose using Constructive controversy Using the iCreate website review What is it? A cycle of stating, investigating, discussing and better understanding. How is it implemented? With advocacy teams Success factors the different perspectives, so for us the different impact types. Their case study is on design piracy and student perceptions of a constructive controversy activity. With 12 years of public equity, impact investing experience, my impression is that these impact investments focus on operations and do less harm impact. Mainly because investors love big companies that can create good impact innovations and transform at scale. If that is their mission, and if they are flexible and committed enough to nurture in-house impact innovations, or they can just buy them, do check out their venture capital funds. But first, have a break. Do no harm impact is stopping the use, application, consumption or investment in harmful products and services, processes and outcomes. Many religions warn against it and in investment it started hundreds of years ago, when Quakers forbade investing in slavery and later Protestant investors excluded alcohol, tobacco, gambling, now gaming, pornography or adult entertainment, and personal firearms with excessive firepower. The list of themes has grown since, especially during apartheid in South Africa. Fossil fuel exclusion has surged the last decade, focusing on coal, tar sand and oil. Broader themes evolved from not negative to positive such as equality and diversity and inclusion. Good for business and investors. Not good are threats to the world, such as climate change, corruption and non-compliance, not sticking to the rules and laws. The hero of finance for the poor, the underserved, is Muhammad Yunus who received the Nobel Peace Prize for his work in microfinance, small loans for the poor both individuals and cooperatives, to spread risk and group support for the borrowers. After decades of scaling microfinance it has evolved, innovated to inclusive finance. So credit and saving accounts, micro-business and health insurance and micro-mortgages. Global Goal 1, No Poverty, is also access to financial services, including microfinance. And access to meso-finance, for small entrepreneurs, which are important employers. No poverty target 4 is access to basic services, ownership and control over land and other forms of property, inheritance, natural resources, appropriate new technology. An indicator is the proportion of population living in households with access to basic services. The global goal for life below water shows that government policies which aim to have positive impact, economic development, income and employment, sometimes end up having the opposite effect. An indicator is the progress to combat illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, and ban support for fishing in overfished stocks. The global fisheries sector has a Marine Stewardship Council and standards to assess if fishery is well-managed and sustainable. It is reviewed and works with scientists, the fishing industry and conservation groups.
Its goals, sustainable fish stocks, are enough fish left in the ocean? Fishing must be at a level that ensures it can continue indefinitely. And the fish population can remain productive and healthy. Minimizing environmental impact. Their certified fisheries must comply with relevant laws and be able to adapt to changing environmental circumstances. Do no harm case examples. ABN Bank uses artificial intelligence, AI algorithms, to analyze financial data flows to stop human trafficking. The Malta Water Services Corporation also applies AI to stop water theft, pushing its costs. We already saw that Azuri's access to solar energy prevents fire hazards, because there is no need to burn wood. Another do no harm innovation, the vegan, VGN ETF, an exchange traded fund, an inclusive available, affordable investment product. It as seeks to avoid investing in companies involved in the slaughter, cruelty and mistreatment of billions of animals each year. And excludes companies harming people, tobacco, human rights violations and child labor, or the planet, marketing fossil fuel, with climate impact and causing habitat destruction. Vegan invests in almost 300 American companies, the top 10 holdings about 40%. It's mainly big companies, not at all related to the food and beverage universe. If you are not too impressed with that, there is good news. They are working on an ETF with smaller companies that are clearly linked to the vegan theme. Quoting CEO Claire Smith. So plant-based foods and drinks. Maybe clothes, bags, shoes, and household products. That would be a do-better or do-good impact innovation in finance. Stop the video to think about the questions. Question, it is important to determine all impact with data. Stop. True, validate and evaluate impact with financial, non-financial, sustainability data, and norms appealing to investors, supply chain partners, employees, etc. Question, net impact is impossible to determine because not all impacts can be monitored, measured, or even attributed to an innovation for impact. Stop. Yes. But companies and capital markets always select data based on experience and expectation, insights, and data suppliers. Investigation of risks and impact types is crucial. Question, different impact type innovations scale slower than others. Stop. Maybe, do no harm investing has been around for centuries. Investing for positive impact such as community development and green bonds were only introduced a little over a decade ago, but grow and evolve fast. I have adapted this innovation technique a bit to focus on do harm impact. I create explain scamper this way. What is it? The best way to get a good idea is to get as many ideas as you can. Any particular way of looking at things is just one of many other possible ways. Use the scamper and impacts list to collect as many ideas as possible and assess the alternatives. How is it implemented? Collect and assess with do no harm impact in mind, then the other impact types. Success factors, don't jump to conclusions, answers. The case study is McDonald's hamburgers. Do no harm impact. Seems the obvious easy choice. Make sure you get all the data. And check assumptions. About do no harm solutions and impact innovations. But first, breathe, and take a break. Net impact is assessed by looking at all impact types and impact quality and quantity. For instance in human resource management, quality standards are diversity and equality. The number or percentage of men and women, people from minorities, with disabilities, and their salaries are quantity standards. Carbon dioxide, one of the greenhouse gas emissions, is a quality impact standard. It is measured in million miric tons saved. The quantity impact standard. For net impact focus on the core activities. What types of impact does it have? Next, the impacts of the operations. What types of impacts are we dealing with? And a total. Let's look at the net impact of two businesses. One has a diverse workforce, offers healthy lunches, regular breaks, mindfulness, massage, fair trade coffee, herbal teas, non-dairy milk and tap water in a paperless office, with recycled toilet paper, air cleaning plants and natural ventilation, uses green energy and water saving. The business core activity, it develops anti-personnel mines and cluster ammunition. 
according to the UN Treaty, illegal products. Business B, a beverage company, lowers its sweet water use. Added sugars, additives and preservatives, introduces organic brews, lowers alcohol percentages, introduces alcohol-free beer, wine etc. Making 90% of its profits from alcoholic beverages. Do you see the bold print verbs, indicating actions for the impact types? And in cursive the quality and quantity indicators? Pollution, hazardous, untreated. Proportion defines quantity for targets and indicators. With having it, clear and ambitious. Quantifying to measure progress. You can find quality and quantity data standards everywhere. Governments, NGOs, campaigns, describe the size of the problem, set targets, and share results. Your favorite companies and brands share their efforts for more positive and less negative impact. Big businesses publish sustainability, impact reports, and web pages with their ambitions and progress with data. Tip, Google for infographics or images and add global goals. In the links you will find the global reporting initiative that has an elaborate open standards framework. The European Investment Bank funds Europe's potential in terms of jobs and growth and supports action to mitigate climate change. The visual shows some of its funding priorities, arranged as impact types. For do good impact, in Europe, SME's small and medium-sized enterprises are the job creation and innovation engine. For do less harm impact, decarbonization funding focuses on our basic needs, agriculture, energy, forestry, solid waste, water and wastewater. An example of the net positive impact of circular agriculture. The focus is on using minimal amounts of external inputs, closing nutrients loops, regenerating soils, and minimizing impact on the environment. Did you recognize the impact types? The UN Circular Agriculture and Sustainable Development Policy Brief writes. If practiced on a wide scale, circular agriculture can reduce resource requirements and the ecological footprint of agriculture. It can also help reduce land use, chemical fertilizers, and waste, which makes it possible to reduce global carbon dioxide emissions. In Europe, it is estimated that a circular approach to food systems could reduce the use of chemical fertilizers by 80%. Circular agriculture supports the global goals on climate action, life on land and responsible production and consumption. Food or diet offers excellent net impact thought exercises. Do good impact innovations would be impact innovating for the sick, elderly, children, undernourished, pregnant and nursing women. Do better would be increasing healthy nutrients in diets, more vegetables, fruit, fibers, beans, nuts, fish, vitamins and minerals. Do less harm is about lowering salts, sugar, unnecessary additives, excess fats, processed and red meat, all the stuff, we eat way too much off. And we know we shouldn't. Do no harm is skipping unhealthy foodstuffs, alcoholic beverages, chips and snacks, sodas, sweets and candy, creamy cakes and sugary pies. Now you understand impact and the impact types. You know the critical questions to ask, where and what data to collect. To weigh in scaling speed, potential and scaling risks to look for impact quality and quantity data, and how to assess net impact, effectivity. Be creative and innovate. Apply the steps, crack all your assumptions with new data, and create a great disruptive investable impact innovation. Stop the video if you want to think about the questions first. Question, the impact types exclude each other. False, an innovation as any act can have multiple impact type effects. Question, assessing all impact types leads to net impact effectivity. True, the assessment should also give you critical information on what impact type or types of impact to pursue that are within your reach. Question, data is critical to assess impact and types. True, impact is often assumed as is the impact effect of an act innovation. Only robust data collection and assessment will give critical insights and can bust assumptions for instance on barriers. Question, quality plus quantity impact equals net impact. Only if collected for all impact types and then assessed again on their interactions and net quality and quantity. An explanation of this timeline, so you know, you are living in the best of times. 
There are great investment opportunities such as green, social and sustainability linked and transition bonds, loans to finance transformation and impact ambitions. Do Better Investing looks for leaders in business management. The KL Domini Social 400 is a list, investment product, with the best US social companies. And Raiders and companies share sustainability data of thousands of listed companies. Do Less Harm Investing is a whole industry of engagers with business on their risks of core activities and operations. Religious beliefs still inspire innovative investment products. Sharia or halal, Islam-inspired investing, also excludes alcohol, tobacco, gambling and interest products. Exclusion is the largest strategy in money terms. But that is deceiving because it is not investing. A bonus slide, what is the market looking for? The global goals are impacted by important technological innovations and megatrends. The slide aims to inspire you to look at your investable impact innovation from a technologies and trends perspective. So impact tech, technological innovations to boost access. Mega trends reflect markets, growing demands, needs and opportunities, negative and positive impact. They differ in size and severity in different places. A positive trend, aging, means we need more people to take care of the elderly. Decent work employment opportunities for the people left behind during the digitization and globalization of the economy. And for migrants. A negative trend, urbanization and migration encounter housing and logistic challenges, such as slums and poor public transport, and lack of basic needs services in rural areas. You did it. Now you understand impact. Impact types. And the critical questions on scaling, speed and risks. The next part of the course shows you how to assess impact cost efficiency. Optimizing impact helps you create a unique, robust impact innovation. Make a profit, balancing costs, revenues, and added impact. And create prosperity, looking at costs for people and planet, net impact. Brian Trellstad's 5 P's of impact are Paradigm, your innovation. Product. Place. Process and planet. If you are thinking about innovative impact investment products, there is a link to my thought piece, inspired by Brian's work on the 5 P's, on the ideal inclusive impact investment product. You now understand impact types and net impact. Effectivity. Next we will learn how to optimize impact and impact cost efficiency. Then how to grow your impact moat, global goal contribution. How to grow your impact going to market and to tailor your impact pitch deck. We pledge to help innovators understand impact effectivity, optimize impact efficiency and impact moat, global goal contribution. Make their impact solutions available, affordable, and scalable. Grow their impact going to market and with an impact pitch deck. Our aim is to help you create positive impact with global potential. Please keep in touch and get in touch. Fill in our feedback form and get understanding impact effectivity in post-its. Connect with Alcani for sparring on impact innovation investability and with Manu for trainings, workshops, and more. Your first references page with global impact organizations and data sources. Recommended reading, the oeuvre of Professor Hans Gosling and Bobby Duffy book Perils of Perception, Why We Are Wrong About Nearly Everything, an Assumption Destroyer. Your second references page on scaling impact by Silos and Mayer in the Stanford Social Innovation Review and Bainhawker and Hanauer's article on New Capitalism. Innovation Techniques Guidance on the iCreate website. The oeuvre of Dr. Edward de Bono. Matt Ridley's book How Innovation Works and David Rowan Non-Bullshit Innovation and the UN Global Goals Pages. Your third references page on impact investing risks, issues and ratings. Do no harm and do less harm. And impact investing opportunities themes and topics. Do better and do good.
your fourth references page, with more impact investing opportunities, doing better and doing good. Your first links page, with the UN's video from the Millennium Goals to Sustainable Development Goals. MSCI, the ESG, and Risk Rater. Global Goal 12 Responsible Consumption and Production and Goal 8 Economic Growth and Decent Employment. Badgers in the Netherlands, The Better Cotton Initiative, and, your must-read, Bainhocker and Hanauer article, Capitalism Redefined, Societal Solutions. Global Goal 3 Health and Well-Being and 7 Access to Smart Energy. Your second links page, with videos on what you can do for goal 7, do better cases, ache over, the mind mapping innovation technique and do better impact in global goal 8 economic growth and decent employment and global goal 2 and the world food program. Your third links page, transformative companies, NN investment partners, DSM, Philips Medical and Umicor. Oil Companies Investment in Renewables, The Invisible Gorilla by Shabri and Simons, Terry Waghorn's book on long-term transformation planning, Global Goal 15 and 10 and do less harm impact cases. Your fourth links PAG, Do Less Harm Cases, E-Cigarettes, Constructive Controversy Innovation Technique, Global Goals 1 and 14, the Marine Stewardship Council, and do no harm impact cases of the same companies. Your fifth links page, the VEN ETF, Scamper Innovation Technique, Global Goals 6 Water, the European Investment Bank, UNDESA on Circular Agriculture and Sustainable Development. My Impact Investing Timeline and Picta Asset Management on Megatrends and my article on the ideal inclusive impact in VESM and product. The link to our feedback form to get your summary of understanding impact post-its, or if you prefer to read, the this part as an ebook.